Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I was going to show you guys how you can easily create trap drum patterns in Logic Pro X. This is sort of a continuation of my last tutorial uh, where we created trap melodies in Logic Pro X and you can watch that tutorial here. Now to get started with uh, with all of this, as you can see, I already have several drum tracks um, created here and uh, you can do that by simply going into the plus section here uh, creating a software instrument and then from the new software instrument and I'm going to select this one here you just go into this drop down menu selecting your ultra beat into uh, stereo mode and then you're going to go ahead and see something like this all right the next thing you want to do is drag and drop these samples into the kit and I've already done that here with all of these as you can see all right so um, that's uh, fairly simple. You just go ahead and select your first sample, take your kick, and then drag it into that section here. And then you do that for uh, all samples, one through 10, let's say. I'd say the first thing you do uh, want to do when you're creating your uh, trap drums is uh, work with your snare. So you can sort of get a, a bass section for your drums. And you would always want to um, have these start on your uh, three count. That means uh, I'm going to go ahead and count it out as the melody is playing so you understand what I'm saying. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So on every third count, we'd like to have a snare drop. Now I'm going to use my MIDI keyboard that is attached to this uh, MacBook to play those uh, drums or the snare rather, and I'll uh, record this, make sure that my countdown is on and my metronome is on to start with, and let's go ahead and record. Okay, very simple. Uh, let's go ahead and select that new MIDI region, and then selecting it here again, and then hitting Command A on your keyboard to select them all, and then hitting the Q to quantize button. For this, I suggest that you are in the uh, 1 8 note. You can change this, obviously, to different ones, but stick with the 1 8 note for now. All right, um, let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. Alright, sounds good to me. Uh, the next thing you'd like to work on is your kick drum. Now, uh, I've already EQ'd and compressed this kick drum uh, to give it a uh, sort of a, th a thumping noise here. Alright, that gives it a, a nice, uh, you know, thump. And uh, I actually have another tutorial that explains how to uh, EQ and compress your kicks that you can watch here. Alright, but uh, let's continue on and just play around with the keyboard and uh, see what sounds good. Let's go ahead and record. All right, now the more you play around with your keyboard, you'll get better at it and you'll understand where to place these kicks. But um, a good way to start again is with your snare and always having it drop on the, uh, the third count. Um, of each bar so that you have a base to work off of basically okay so I'm gonna go into my uh, drum section here into my kick section uh, select that area hit command a and Q again to quantize now if the uh, volume is not uh, the MIDI volume is not selected you could just go ahead and turn it on by clicking on this and then just raise everything up okay you will want to have all of your kick drums uh, on the same volume level now, um, if it sounds a little bit too loud, you can always use this lever to bring the, uh, the volume down. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to that now. All right, that sounds pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and move on to the, uh, the next section. And I think uh, what I had here was um, a secondary snare. Let's see what else we have. We have a clap for this one. Let's go ahead and add a clap, and let's have the clap actually um, drop on the uh, the same spot that the uh, snare is dropping. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record again and record the clap. Great. All right. Let's select that area, hit Command A, and then Q again on the keyboard, making sure that all the volumes are up on the same level. And uh, let's listen to that for a second. All right, 
right, that sounds good to me. Now, um, let's see what else we have here. I have some other uh, trap drums that I uh, put in this kit here. I have a uh, uh, clap uh, that's a reverb clap. Maybe we'd like to have that uh, at the uh, very end of this. So let's see what that would sound like. I'm not going to record that now, but uh, just to test it out. Probably better to have it somewhere else here. Let's try it again and see where it would fit. It's a little bit too loud for my taste, so I'm going to bring that volume down a bit. Alright, so I'm not really feeling that reverb clap for this uh, section, so let's see what else we got here. Alright, I have a secondary snare. Uh, what's nice to do also is maybe have some snares drop in between the main clap and snare. Uh, something of this nature here. Alright, so we're having them drop basically between the, uh, the first and second and the third and fourth. Let's go ahead and record that. I like that. All right, let's go ahead and select that area, hit Command A, and then Q to quantize. All right, we're still working with one eighth notes for now, uh, but we'll we will be switching this up to uh, triplets and one thirty seconds, I'd say, uh, for the hi hats, but uh, we're not quite there yet. Now, maybe, you know, this, um, this particular snare that we just added sounds a bit dry. Maybe you want it to sound a little more, um, you know, modern, I guess you could say. Uh, and the way to do that is by adding uh, maybe a high pass filter on it. So I'm going to turn on the analyzer, let this play, and uh, here we go. Now we uh, turned on the high pass filter on that and on the uh, EQ. All right, let's have that uh, maybe cut off maybe just from uh, 5K, and then we'll bring that up just a tad. Maybe even just a little more. Right, maybe even more. I want to sound a little different like that. All right, that sounds good to me. And uh, let's see what else we have here. We have the hi-hats, I believe. All right, now for hi-hats, the way I usually do it is um, I just go ahead and play it along with the beat and the tempo. So for this would be. All right, let's go ahead and record that. That sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, select that area, hit Command A, and then Q to quantize. Let's make sure that all of our hi-hat volumes are the same, and then uh, by bringing them up all the way, and then let's uh, drop them down a little bit. You don't want your hi-hats to be too loud. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, change up the hi-hats a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to a 32 note. And if you don't see this section here, it could very well be that it's just hidden. It's further down like this, so you just go ahead and drag it up like this, and then you'll be able to see the time quantize uh, section. All right, so now I'm going to zoom in a bit here into that first hi hat. I'm going to bring it back, let's say about a quarter of the way of this bar length here, or this length here. So that's about halfway here, and that's about a quarter right there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, use our playhead position and bring it right to the end of that. I'm going to hit Command C on the keyboard and then Command V. As you can see it placed one right next to it. Let's place that uh, cursor right back there. Add it one more time. All right, And we'll add it one more time here. All right, And then we'll take those four, copy them by hitting Command C again and then Command V. All right, Now let's see what that sounds like. All right, that gives it some uh, some dancing hi hats effects. Uh, let's go ahead and see what else we can do. Maybe right before the uh, the snare drops, which would be right around this section here, we can have the hi hat do something else. 
So we're going to go ahead and uh, maybe add another uh, hi-hat right here. And if you want to use your pencil tool um, and just use the command key on your uh, keyboard, you can always draw in MIDI notes, okay, just like I did there. And uh, let's make this one a little bit longer. Have it stop right there. Copy it by using Command C, Command V, and Command V again. So now we have three instead of the four. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, we could probably add another one right there. Let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, I like that. All right, now um, maybe right. Oof, let's see, right before the third one, we can have it change up a little bit. So I'm going to add another one here. Let's get these three here. Let's try that as one eighth triplet. There we go. Let's see what that sounds like. And then we can have uh, sort of another triplet at the end of this here. And then hit quantize. Okay. Maybe one more over here. There we go. Quantize. And now we have these six. And then maybe before the fourth bar, we'll have something happen here too. And I actually have a uh, how to make trap hi hats tutorial as well uh, that you can watch right here if you'd like. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, change this up a little bit here. I'll have this change to half of this, and then we'll copy and paste that. Again, Command C and then V. Okay. Command C, Command V, Command V, Command V, Command V. All right, let's see. Now we have a little more uh, of an interesting hi-hat happening here. pretty satisfied with that obviously you can play around with that for a long time until uh, you find something that satisfies you the next thing we might want to do is adding maybe a uh, sort of an open hi-hat or a uh, symbol of sorts uh, let's see what I have here in my that's good maybe we'll want these to come uh, you know in the these sections right here so let's see what that sounds like That's okay. Maybe we can have them start at the very beginning of each bar. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. I'm going to hit record. I actually like that better. So let's select that area, hit Command A. And now, since these are back to 1 8th, we will want to change this. And then hit Q on the keyboard to quantize, making sure that all of our volumes are the same. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's bring that volume down just a bit, just a bit, so that we can uh, have it sound better. That's too quiet. Let's bring it up a little bit. 